Well, I asked for tea and Shane did not disappoint on this one. To be honest, I don't really know what I thought Alyssa Violet was gonna say when she sat down with Shane, but I did not really expect it to be this much. I didn't expect it to be as intense and heavy and kind of dark really as it was. I really feel like now the series has really gotten serious and I'm glad it has because I wanted the truth to come out. I wanted to hear like the real shit and I feel like Alyssa helped bring some of the real shit to this series. I'm in a time crunch today and I don't know if I can give the best video here for you but I'm going to do my best to give my thoughts continuing on what we've seen in the series so far. I feel like after watching this video in the mind of Inside the Mind of Jake Paul, I have more questions because we've been seeing mostly kind of like a one-sided perspective from the side of people who are close to Jake Paul or want to remain friendly with Jake Paul. And I feel like Alyssa doesn't quite have that same allegiance to Jake Paul that other people do. And I'm not saying that, you know, there's like dividing lines or anything here, but I just feel like she gave us a lot more information and a very different perspective than what we've been hearing and now I just feel like I have a lot more questions and I can't believe there's only one more episode left, although I kind of question if there's bonus footage that's going to come out. Alright, so my channel is primarily a mental health channel, so that's what I'm going to talk about and I was reminded again watching this video of the concept of enmeshment, which I never really thought that that's what I would be talking about when I was talking about Jake Paul, but it does make a lot of sense, you know? Enmeshment is something that I covered on my channel like back in the early days, and I don't know, it's an interesting concept where it it's usually used in a family setting, and in a family roles are blurred, and people's power dynamics are not clear, and like children act like adults, adults act like children, brothers and sisters don't relate like the way that they normally should, like boundaries are weird in an enmeshed family, and the Team 10 house in many ways to me feels like it was enmeshed for a lot of reasons, because you're mixing business and friendships and pleasure and work and all of these different roles, like like, for example, Alyssa being a girlfriend, but she's not a girlfriend, but she's acting like a girlfriend, but she also kind of wants to be Jake's girlfriend, but, ah, like, that's just, that's a lot. You know, I've been saying uh, how it's kind of weird that Greg Paul lives in the house and he's managing his son, like, again, mixing roles and... It just feels uncomfortable. It's not something I would ever want to go through. And then to be possibly dating the person who's giving you their paychecks, uh, been there, and um, have this weird power dynamic going on, I can understand why things like emotional abuse would come up because nothing is clear and it never feels like you're mentally in a place where you know what's going on. Like, Alyssa kept expressing this. Like, she just never understood, like, what's going on behind the scenes, and that's why she looks so irritated in a lot of the videos. And that makes a lot of sense to me, because I have been in relationships like that where I didn't really understand what are we? What's happening? And I hope that you can relate to that too if you've ever been in a situation like that. It sucks. And that really brings me to something that I want to talk about here, which is the emotional abuse and the physical abuse, because especially when there's enmeshment, things get really confusing. And I try to handle the topic of abuse very delicately when I talk about it because abuse is a real thing. Abuse is horrible, whether it's physical or emotional or both. And we can know the reasons why somebody abuses and still say that abuse is horrible. And I find that generally when we talk about abuse, it's hard to get that those two concepts together. And I want to bring that idea here in while we talk about Alyssa and Jake, because I do feel like, especially since they're young people and their brains are still maturing and they maybe don't know how to relate to other people, especially in this weird, crazy environment where business and pleasure are mixed, like, I can totally understand how things wound up being abusive, feeling abusive, and... Hmm. So a perfect example of this is how Jake would kind of like roughhouse with Alyssa and other people in the house, and the roughhousing went a little bit too far, and it's like, well, is that abuse? Because, you know, she's under contract, like, that's part of what was gonna happen. He warned her sometimes, like, he wasn't being a total dick about it, but at the same time, he was a little too rough, so is that abuse? And 
you know, we haven't heard Jake's side, but I would say if I were Jake, I would say, like, I wasn't trying to hurt her like it happened by accident. And does that excuse it? Does that make it not abuse? I don't think there's, like, a great answer here. I think it's abusive if the person feels the effects, if they don't feel like the other person is truly sorry, if they don't feel like the person's respecting them. And that doesn't mean, like, it can happen accidentally. I hate to say that, but it's kind of true. Abuse can happen accidentally. Like, people don't always intentionally hurt and abuse other people. Sometimes it just happens. Now, in the case of Jake Paul, I don't know what's going on. We haven't talked to Jake, and I'm not going to throw around, like, accusations that he's a horrible person and stuff. As we've been watching this series, my opinion has been that this has been a very complicated situation with very young people in very weird situations that are unusual for most of us, and it's really hard to judge what's going on, and without really sitting down, like, I know this is a very comprehensive series, and I so appreciate that, but without really sitting down and getting to know them over a long course of time, like the way a therapist would do, I don't feel like we can totally understand what really happened and how everybody feels about everything. One thing that really bothered me about this whole situation was when Alyssa brought up the money thing. And again, this goes back to enmeshment and blurring roles and things not being so clear because she mentioned how she wasn't feeling appreciated, she didn't feel good there, she felt like she was isolated a lot, and I don't- I think, like, she has real good evidence for why she feels that way. I'm not discounting that at all. Um, but she mentioned how they kind of like withheld paychecks and like she wanted to get away but she didn't have the resources to get away and i know that's something that a lot of people have struggled with i've struggled with that myself in a relationship it's not fun and i hate that there's this like thought out there from some people who just don't understand like why didn't you leave why didn't you get away it's not so easy for everybody and Alyssa's a classic case of somebody who their financials were entangled. They were working for the person that they wanted a relationship with, and things were confusing, and it wasn't really clear what was going on. And, you know, she's saying that they weren't dating, that they weren't in a relationship, and Jake has said that too, but you can say that and still feel confused. The whole thing just kind of bothers me, and I kind of wonder, like, what else are we missing here that we're never maybe going to hear about? Because... This is more than just the story of Jake and Alyssa and Erica and Team 10 and Nick Crompton and everybody else. This is the story of an entire company and how this company has been run and how it's been presented on YouTube. Even though most of it has been scripted and fake, it's also people's real lives. And I appreciate getting to see people's real lives and how it's affected them, but I'm kind of saddened by the fact that this has happened at all and that people have been manipulated Mm. And when I say that, I'm not just talking about Jake, you know, I think that Jake, yes, has done manipulating, I think he's done some terrible things, I think Alyssa did some terrible things, I think probably everybody in that house has done some terrible things, I've done terrible things, I'm sure you've done terrible things, you know, this is life, I'm not here to assign blame to people. But what bothers me is that there had to be people in this situation who knew better that this was going off course, and I'm not saying that so one person could have come forward and stopped this whole train wreck from happening. Because once you get enough people in a system of relating to each other in this weird way, like, it just gets rolling and you can't stop that. One person can't stop that. But I'm bothered that there were adults. There had to be adults involved in this entire production, I'm sure. Obviously, there were investors. Investor money doesn't just usually come from youth. So where were the adults here? Where were the people who had some rational thinking who could have stepped in and said, you know what, this really isn't a good idea. And I know, you know, Jake and everybody, they're adults because they're over, they're of age, but the brain, I keep saying this because it's important, the brain doesn't totally mature until around age 25, and then it still continues to mature and grow throughout our lives. So I don't think it's fair completely to hold all of the people in this house who were on film, who were just kind of doing their jobs and trying to grow up in the middle of it, accountable for everything that went on. But I think it's a little more fair to ask who the hell was, like, overseeing all of this. And to some degree, I want to blame the parents. And, I'm, you know, I... I know if I were the parent and I heard that, I'd be like, well, F you. Like, you don't know anything about my life. And that's true. And I, I've i mentioned in previous reactions here that I feel for the parents. And, you know, they went through a divorce. That sucks. And I think 
this is a unique situation that it's really hard for anybody to totally relate to. But somebody, somebody has to step in and know what the limit is. And it seems like maybe the parents don't know what the limit is. Maybe the investors don't know what the limit is. I guess I'm just wondering, like, where is the sensibility in the entire production of Team 10? So really, if we're going to pass blame around, I feel like everybody's to blame. Everybody has their part and everybody needs to own up to it. And I do give some credit to everybody who's participating in this series for coming out and being honest and owning up to their part in things. I just wish that everybody would, and maybe they have behind the scenes and maybe we'll never know, but I hope that everybody who has gotten Team 10 and Jake Paul and all these brands to the point where they did really sits back and reflects on if it was worth the money putting this out there and presenting things this way and hurting the people involved in the production and hurting the kids watching and hurting everybody who's been affected by this because I'm sorry, this has been the face of YouTube for at least a year, and it's hurt everyone. It has. I mean, you tell me, do you feel like the brand of YouTube and the feeling of YouTube changed once Jake Paul and Logan Paul and all of this mess went down? Because I do. Okay, so I wanted to touch on Logan because I did mention when Nick Crompton was interviewed by Shane that I'm not entirely sure that what actually happened actually happened between Alyssa and Logan and she confirmed that yes it did happen. But she did say that they went out for drinks and you know she clarified here that it was a fake relationship and they hooked up once. Like come on, everybody has that moment. Most people, let me put it that way, maybe not everybody, most people have that situation where they're a little cozy with somebody, they've been drinking, it's kind of like, whatever, let's do this. Now, I understand that it was deeply painful for Jake, and it, you know, that's probably partially what it was intended to do, and that I feel for Jake on this one. Like, that was not a cool thing to do, and I think Alyssa understands that. I hope she understands that. I'll, but I'll also throw in there that when drinking is involved, you're not using all of your senses. You're not thinking these things through. She did mention having regrets, and yet the videos and stuff went up. So, again, I question the judgment here. And I don't necessarily question the judgment of Alyssa and Logan and everybody else. Because it, to me, they're still like kids. They don't know better of how to do these things. They're still growing up. And it frustrates me that nobody stepped in and said, like, Okay, you know, we can find shocking ways to do things, we can make drama, but like this is a little bit too much. We have to slow this train down. I know that Shane has kind of been painting this picture of Logan as being like this big jerk and this sociopathic type of person, and I guess that's okay, but he's... I don't know Logan, you know, I'm never gonna know Logan until we sit down and talk with Logan, so I'm not... I'm not okay with just, like, bashing Logan. I'm not a fan of Logan. I wasn't a fan of Jake, and I wasn't a fan, fan of any of this before watching this series. But... Basically, I just don't want to pin the blame all on Logan here either. Like, I feel like that's a cop-out. We have to hold everybody accountable. And I think everybody's trying to be accountable and responsible for what they've done and what they've said. That's what I want to see more of. So I don't think it's fair to kind of, like, paint Logan as the demonic person in the background <laughs> orchestrating all of this because he's not. <laughs> um, mm, I, I'm just frustrated with the whole situation if that's not already clear. So after watching Shane talk with Alyssa, I really kind of went back to not liking Jake so much because the behavior that she described is not cool. Um, I think it's common, though. I think it's common for young men growing up to do these kinds of things, and it's not common to live this life that he's been living, so I think that adds complication to it. But in general, like, these are the growing pains. This is kind of just what happens as people get to grips on who they are and their personality and growing up and all this stuff, and throwing in all this business and complicated stuff into the mix, it doesn't surprise me, I guess is what I'm saying. And I'm sure there are complicated emotional reasons for the reasons why Jake did a lot of the things that he did, but 
I, what I would like you to walk away with and what I walk away with when I see these kinds of situations is that you can disapprove of the way somebody behaved and you can say it's bad and you can appropriately set consequences for that while also understanding the reasons why and try to help that person with the reasons why they did the things they do. Because if you never address the reasons why, if you never work on that and help teach and retrain new skills and new ways of being in the world, they're just going to continue to do it. So if you don't add that compassion and that empathy in, you're not really encouraging any kind of change. You're just bashing somebody to make yourself feel better, and I'm not okay with that. Okay, I don't know if it's just because I'm in a time crunch, but I feel like I'm like extra emotional today because I am really frustrated that this whole situation went on. I think we've all been frustrated and we would all like to see it stop and hopefully like it has stopped it seems like it's definitely quieted down but I'm just irritated that it ever happened at all and this just kind of reminded me of why I was irritated because I didn't even know all this was going on behind the scenes I was just irritated with the stuff on the surface and I could only imagine what was going on behind the scenes but now that I know I'm just more Ugh. Okay, but we heard a lot about Jake from Melissa here, and I mean, we've been hearing a lot from Jake this whole time, so we kind of know his side already, but I'm curious to see what else Jake may have to say, if he's going to be able to react to anything that Alyssa has said. I don't really know how this has been filmed. I want to know what your thoughts are after this. Are you as frustrated as I am? Do you feel like the tone of YouTube changed once the Paul brothers came on and kind of like took over the attention of everybody? Let me know down below in the comments and I will look forward to reading and seeing the finale together with you soon.